Several months ago, I was lucky enough to acquire a 592 crossing gate uh, and realized that in order to make it operate, you needed a couple of different track trips. A uh, pair of 696 track trips, which would actuate the digger inside of the, the little house here. And then also one of the current sensing type track trips, which would actuate the crossing gate. Not having one of the current sensing track trips, I began to look for other solutions. And I came across the website, mrobbins.com, in which I found this fairly simple circuit here, which cost me about $5 to build. And what this circuit does, it allows me to put a photo cell in between the track, one here and one up here. The photo cell then operates the circuit that I built, and here is the circuit board here composed of a couple of components, a few diodes, an integrated circuit, a variable resistor to adjust the sensitivity of the photocells, and then this relay here which actually controls the power that goes to the crossing gate. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to push these couple of cars over here so you can see how this operates. And as you'll see as the crossing gate presses on the, or rather as the cars press on to the 696 trip, the bell rings, and then when it passes over the photo cell, the crossing gate will go down. All very simple and all very effective in controlling the crossing gate. Now one of the other things this circuit could be used for would be making uh, a way to have some block signals along the side of the track. I'm going to pause the uh, camera right now so that I can rewire the circuit board real quick and show you just an idea that I had for making some dwarf block signals. And we're back. Just made a couple of minor wiring changes here on this circuit board uh, that I had described before. And if you look down here, you'll see I've got a, an LED here by the track. It's glowing green right now. This particular LED is what they call an RGB, or red, green, blue. It uh, will glow either red, green, or blue, depending upon uh, the, the electricity that's passed through it. Uh, and my thought was I could use this for a single aspect dwarf signal by the side of the track. Right now, with it being green, the track ahead is, is clear to go. I'm going to bring the train around again, and you'll see as the train comes through, it's going to pass over top of the photo cell and it changes to red. Meaning there's a train in that block and it simulates the idea of having the 74 signal. Still red as we go on through. We clear the second photo cell and now it's back to green saying that block is open and safe for another train to come on through. We'll do it one more time just to see how it changes. It goes red when the train is on top of the photo cell continues on through, clear the photo cell, and it goes back to green. Now you don't have to use an RGB type of LED, you could use two discrete LEDs where you could have a red over green type of signal. The choice would be yours. But it just shows what you can do with a simple circuit and about five or six bucks worth of electronic parts. Hope you've enjoyed my demonstration.